What's up everybody? I got my mushroom coffee, I got my apple cider vinegar water, I got my water bottle, I got a bunch of rustic daily carry bags. Things that are made out of wax canvas. Oh, I can't wait to show them to you. They're so good. This is stuff that could have been in movies like Indiana Jones. This is stuff that uh, maybe Ernest Hemingway carried up Kilimanjaro with full of gin. This is that kind of look, that Filson, that Americana, that rustic, that Indiana Jones kind of look that, yeah, it's sort of hipster, uh, yipster. It's sort of like guilty as charged, but guess what? I like to look good and I like my stuff to feel real. I want it to feel like it's made from real hands, from real materials, from the earth. And I don't apologize for that. So these bags are all gonna be focused on that more rustic look, cause I love the tech bags too, having a pocket for every dongle and looking like Elon Musk. I mean, hey man, we gotta get to Mars somehow. But every once in a while, it's a little bit like, all right, let's pull out the wax canvas. I like this. So that's what my bags today will be focused on. I'll be doing another video in the future, in like a few weeks with tech bag, so make sure you subscribe, or I'll put a thing uh, somewhere that if that's already out, I don't know. <coughs> now, as daily carry bags, we're gonna focus on four things. We're gonna look at our capacity, how much can you fit? Do you need to bring your lunch to work with you? Do you need to, I mean, a lot of us are carrying these bags every single day, because we work in an office, or we work at the cafe, or we're digital nomads, or we're whatever. We use our daily carries for a lot of different stuff, but sometimes we gotta carry our lunch, sometimes we gotta carry a jacket or a sweater, a handful of books. Some of us are in college, need to carry all them books. So capacity can be a big thing. The capacity on the bags I'm showing you today can range a little bit. I am so sorry. The capacity on the bags I'll be showing you today is roughly similar across the board, but there will be some differences. Okay, then there's the build materials and water resistance, sort of weather resistance stuff. Most of the bags I'm gonna show you daily carry. These things can take a, a, a beating and you're not really loading them full of bricks. These aren't GORUCK bags. I mean, I wish I had a GORUCK GR1 in here, but I don't. Second or third of all rather is organization. Do I have enough pockets? Are there too many pockets? It's like, you know, some bag manufacturers they're just like, I don't know, just throw a bunch of shit in there. See if, how people use it. And I like to have a kind of specific pocket for every kind of thing, and I don't need very much more than that. And then finally, look, feel, aesthetic. Okay, number four. Everything today is gonna be focused, like I said, on that rustic kind of look, that Indiana Jones vibe. <laughs> All right, let's get right into it with one of my favorite bags that I've been able to put my hands on in recent years. This is the Bolt Backpack from Waterfield Designs. It's a luscious material on here, a, a waxed canvas that has a density to it that is like, it just speaks right to your physical senses. Also, the leather on here, the both on the bottom and the little straps and the handle, the little magnet flaps on the front. Uh, leather on this is is supple. It is some supple shit, man. Really high quality materials on the bag. Another thing to look at the materials on this is inside there is this sort of, on this one it's mustard. I don't know if it comes in other, other uh, colors, but it's this really, really nice lining. It just feels like a little Louis Vuitton on the inside and a lot like that Indiana Jones Hemingway on the outside. Very cool bag, especially for, you know, I don't know, for you, if you're in San Francisco and, and, and you're like a tech company person and you're going with this instead of, you know, your Icon in case or your, your other sort of standard looking tech bags, this is a very interesting look for that, right? First and foremost on this guy, you gotta know one of the things you're buying with this is the look and the feel, and it looks and feels sensational to me. I mean, it's not, it doesn't, it doesn't have like an uber hip vibe. Like a, I feel like a, a, this is basically the baddest ass baby boomer bag, right? If you're a baby boomer and you had this, I'm like, what do you know? But even for you younger guys and gals out there, you can kind of rock this thing. It is, it is very, very, uh, really, to be honest, I just like the materials. They speak so much in this. Water bottle pockets on either side, okay? On the back here, they've got that thing so you could put your luggage through it if you want to use this as, again, this is a company, Waterfield Designs. These guys design badass bags in the USA, made in the USA, killer stuff. On the front, we have two pouches on the outside with magnetic flaps and then a zipper. This kind of setup is great for daily carry. 
You got a zipper for this kind of thing. So I'm throwing, you know, a lot of stuff that like, like maybe, maybe I think what I do is my headphones are up here. My power charger, my MacBook charger might be in here or my sunglasses. And then back here is that stuff that I just kind of need, but I never really need to see it. Then on the top of the bag, you have two zippers. They're both water resistant. This is a great bag for water resistant needs. One of them gets you into sort of the main, they both get you into the main compartment, right? But this this one in the back gets you right into where the laptop is. Very like well done, well designed, because where you put that zipper, if you put it in the front only, which is where a zipper kind of tends to be for any bag like this, you have to plop, plop that thing back to get to your laptop. Here they go, if you're just getting your laptop, open up this back one and you'll have great access to your laptop and your tablet sleeve. Then inside, you've got two other pockets on the inside with a Velcro top. That's my one drawback on this. The Velcro, uh, Velcro just can kind of suck. But this also is another good place for putting my MacBook Pro charger right there. Then your capacity in here, I'm looking at like, I'm looking at four or five wool sweaters can fit in here. This is a pretty large bag once you get it open, and yet it doesn't look that big. So that's the Bolt backpack from Waterfield Designs. I love the design, the aesthetic, the materials and the build quality of this thing, the fact that it's made in America. Check out the link in the description and you will be able to get one of these for yourself. Little note on that, not that bag, but some of the bags here have, uh, I have a relationship with them where I get a couple bucks back when you buy it from that link. That is, guess why that works? Because right now is Sunday afternoon and my wife is just just handling, she's like, you should make a bag video. She literally said, you should make a bag video right now. Why does she say that? Because we're starting to get a couple hundred bucks a month or something from this stuff and it's really valuable for a Letting her let me help me help you. You help me do this more by purchasing when you purchase using the link. I really appreciate it. Okay, here's another one. I just received this one and it's pretty killer. I've been using it a little bit. It's from Astray. It's on Kickstarter or has just kickstarted. Made from, you know, really good solid materials. Got some interesting leather going on. And it's like your ultimate, it's like your hipster in a box pack, which I don't, I hope you don't think I mean that uh, facetiously. I, I, anybody would look at me and go like, look at this hipster chud. But what I like about it is we're working with, we're working with nice materials. We're working with a pretty solid, solid uh, build and manufacturing with the, with the leather reinforcements and the rivets and stuff. This is a production sample. These buttons are going to have the logo from the company on them. This strap is gonna be a little bit longer so you can, you can have your roll top be like completely full. That's of course one of the great things about a roll top is you can just fit so much stuff in it. But you can see that this isn't that big of a roll top. That's what I like about it. It's not like, you're not filling the, it's not like some of them are just massive and they look moofy and big no matter what you have in there. This, on the other hand, you got it pretty slim, pretty slim and, 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 and like it doesn't feel too bulky. However, you can fill this sucker up and this has got so much capacity, so much capacity. I'm looking into this thing. I'm like, what? What do you think? What do you think? Eight, nine wool sweaters, maybe nine wool sweaters. It's big. Inside, we've got our laptop compartment right in here, 15 inch uh, or, or less, I believe. And then you've got your, you know, your pouch that's the perfect size for a Kindle, a little bit bigger than an American passport kind of thing. So now, this does have a buckle on the front like this, like a belt loop kind of thing. I don't like lifting in and doing all that stuff. So they actually have a, uh, a way to get into the bag from the side. Okay, right here, it's a zippered thing. However, I can't get to my laptop through this. You do have a way to access the, material, the contents of the bag from the side, but not your laptop, which is a little bit of a bummer. Um, I wouldn't mind if it had that buckle on the front. By the way, nice thick zipper here. Feels like real materials. Um, if I could get into my laptop, I, I would like that more because I'm always just getting to the cafe, plopping it down, grab my laptop and go. I need headphones. Boom, we got the headphones here, or let's be honest, I already have the headphones on at this point. But these pouches on the outside are great for my charger, my headphones, my things like that. Um, but I gotta pull this out and up every time. What's good about it is it'll last a hundred fucking years. That little, that little buckle, 
and this little leather thing will last literally forever, you know? But it's just a little, one of those things you have to do every time, and maybe I'm a little bit of a, I mean, don't get me wrong, I want to climb Kilimanjaro as much as the next guy, but come on, they have cars now. So that's from Astray Good. I keep thinking Ashtray, it's not. It's Astray Goods. Check them out, link in the description below. Click it and enjoy. Okay, now check these suckers out. This, these are from Track, T-R-A-K-K-E, Track, Track in Scotland. They have these incredible packs that they make out of waxed canvas, really delicious, authentic materials on these guys. This is their Lecht pack, all right? A very simple bag, two water bottle holders on the side. You'll see it has that, that um, whoa that angle up so there's more capacity at the top. One of the things we know from hiking and packing and putting things together is we can get, if we can get our load up top, if you're packing this thing out with heavy stuff at the top, that's better for the carry. It distributes the weight throughout your back. It's great, so this is like sort of designed for that. Now in a daily carry use, I, I have my computer, I have a book or two, I have a sweater, I have a water bottle. I don't, I'm not packing this thing out. But it's got that vibe and look. You've also got, um, Got a, uh, a place in the back here you can put on hip straps if you want. This bag's obviously pretty small. You might not need to do that. But some of their other packs are, are a little bit bigger. In this bag, we have a quick access at the top. This whole pouch at the top is your quick access. This is very common for more out outside mountaineering type of bags. Um, but on the inside, which we open like this, all water resistant zippers, by the way. This is a really great water resistant option. You've got all sorts of tech compartments, which is awesome. You've got your laptop, you've got a sort of medium sized pocket with a zipper on the top so you can hide stuff away. And then you've got a handful of like, you know, business card size, pen card size, uh, uh, camera battery card, uh, camera battery size type of things that you can organize. And then our capacity here is I'd say four, three or four, uh, well, sweaters on this one. This is their Lect pack. What's really, I mean, when you buy this pack, what you're getting is, why you buy this is because number you're, you're a slave to the aesthetic. It looks awesome. It's gonna function great. Just be your simple person. Like, get into it. All you need is your bag to carry your laptop and a few other things. And I'm gonna have a bag that's gonna last me 100 years or something like that. This, th and it's made of real materials and it's gonna wear and tear over time. Not tear, but it's gonna wear uh, over time. I can reapply wax to it. It's really, really pretty when you get into bags like this and Track is making great ones. Here's another one that they have. I believe this is their Ascent um, with a Y and a little bit of a larger pack uh, where, where we have a flap. Now their buckles are kind of kind of crazy here. They do, the, that's, it's kind of crazy. It's crazy to me that it works, but it works really well. It just doesn't come out and it's made out of just uber, strong metal that's just, ne talk about never gonna break. You just slide it right through there. You have to think about it for a second, maybe a second more than, I, than I'd like to. I wish it was like, I mean, what I like is just a magnet, just it closes and everything comes together. This, you have to think about it for a second to both get it in and get it out, but it's surprisingly easy compared to what you'd think when you see just two loose buckles on there. Beautiful little T uh, emblem on the, on the logo here, and then open it up, and this bag's got a ton of capacity. Inside, they, I had a, a, a hip strap on mine. Again, the hip strap can can go through these this back here. This, because this is a bigger pack, if you're doing like mountaineering type stuff, which is what these guys are kind of made for, um, then you might want to want to do that. But got a good capacity, similar kind of organization, just the, uh, the laptop and then uh, the, the medium sized pocket with the zipper. Now, on the front here, I've added an uh, accessory pocket, which I would definitely need to use if I was using this bag as a daily carry. Killer look though, right? Uh, you just throw in your accessories here. Everything's right in the front pouch. I like the size of it. This is a very functional bag. I could totally use this though. I probably would opt for the Lect personally as a daily carry because I don't need quite as much space. This gives me a little more space and I prefer the zippers to the flap over stuff. So check out these bags from Track, links below. Enjoy! All right now, the Topo Mountain Briefcase. This is one of my earliest reviews, a bag that I bought a long time ago and I just 
Loved it then and I love it now. Still, I love the size. I love the aesthetic. It's a backpack and a briefcase kind of look. These straps come off and they fold away. It's just got that like, what I like about it is it seems like the ex ext an extremely honest bag. And I, I really, I like things that looked like that, you know, that looked like, hey, these are materials we have a lot of in the world. Let's put together something that's rugged, that will last, and that's honest looking. Big old, big old beefy ass zippers. Just listen to that. Oh, you want another one? Yeah. It's just beefy, beefy zippers. You've got a pocket in the front. Okay, and then you've got, and that's all there is on the front. You do have these straps, these compression straps. You could probably fit like a, a camera tripod or a yoga mat or something in there. You have these leather accessories. I, I, I don't know what you put in those. I, I put a carabiner because I'm like, maybe I might one day be a climbing person that I, I just put this there. I'm not like a Colorado guy. I don't know how to do that. I don't own a pair of Chacos, all right? I'm just now getting into like, you know, above the knee shorts, shorter shorts. I've done some bold but anyways, I don't know what accessories go in here. If you know, put some links in the comments below or something like that because I want to know what you could buy that goes onto this. Because maybe you can buy some sort of a pocket system that goes on the outside because I need more pockets in this bag. I love this bag, but the only reason why I ever started looking for other bags is because I wanted this. If this was two pockets, it'd be a done deal. If this was just broken up into two pockets with a little bit of depth, so I could easily put my MacBook charger in one, and MacBook and glasses in one, and then like, like just sundries in the other one. But instead, it's just one big open pocket with no depth to it. So everything that gets in there is held together, and then it it uh, it pushes against whatever whatever's inside of here. So if you have your laptop and an iPad and a couple books, like this gets filled fast, and everything just starts bulking out over here and gets thrown together. So. Uh, that's my one bummer about this guy. Even still, I just love it. And this is one of those bags that really taught me like, you don't need all the bells and whistles. You don't need something that's perfect. You need the essentials. And I can carry your essentials. So even though I would change that in a heartbeat, and I would love to do that, Topo, call me. Wouldn't that be cool? If we did like a Topo times Topo versus Chase Reeves collab. And it was the same exact thing, just with like, just with pouches, like the 24 hour briefcase from Filson, which I'll show you in a bit. So then we get inside here, you have a laptop, you have a laptop thing. Now I'm gonna show you something. Remember what I was saying before about the Bolt backpack, how they have a zipper that allows for you just to get to the, the back of the laptop, where the laptop is. Here's what you have to do on this. You try to reach in and get your laptop. It's constantly sticking on a, one corner or the other or both. So what you have to do is you have to do the little pinch and roll. You guys know what I'm talking about. You're doing a pinch and a roll, okay? And then you can pull it up. It's fine, it's just one of those things you gotta get used to on a bag. On this one, you gotta get used to that. On that uh, ashtray bag, you had, to, uh, you had to use the buckle, right? There's just sometimes, hey, slow down. Pinch and roll, your laptop's right there. You didn't waste any time, chill out. But it's one of those things you end up thinking about. Then on that laptop pocket in there, there's a handful of organizing things in here, mostly useless to me, to be honest, except for pens. You can put some pens in there. I can maybe, I wish this was a better size to put my MacBook charger, but even if it was, I put my iPad Pro in here and it's all like, it's all like, it just doesn't work that well. I wish there was a, a way to, I, I always had to kind of put my chunkier stuff up on the front of the bag, not where the flat things go. What would be amazing is if we did, if we had a laptop and then a tablet, like a large sort of tablet slash document thing underneath that, and then maybe a couple little, little pockets. I bet it would make the bag more expensive to put pockets on the other side. Um, instead of this, but anyways, there is some organization there. One of them is a flat zippered thing where you can maybe put like your headphones, but I need to get to my headphones on the outside of the bag. As you can see, I love this bag so much and it has so many problems <laughs> to me, like to me, like I'm like, oh, and then there's this, oh, and then there's this, oh, and then there's this, but I still love it. I just love the bag. I think it's a great bag. I love the size. I have never used anything this size, shape, and aesthetic that I like this much. So Topo, good on you. 
Let's work together, make a couple little changes. Let's figure it out. So that's the Topo Mountain Briefcase. Again, I couldn't recommend it higher, uh, only if it had a couple different changes. Um, but I still love it because when you need a minimal bag that just gets you where you're going, I mean, zero capacity on this thing. We're talking like one to two, like two sweaters when you have your computer in there. Uh, as if we were using apples to apples compared to what I was talking about in the other ones. Um, but you can kind of fit a lot. The bummer about this one, when you do start adding stuff to it, I can't stop talking about this bag. When you do start adding stuff to it, it starts to feel really full, really fast. That's one of the bummers. Uh, but you keep it minimal and you just bring just what you need and you love this thing because you move so quick and easy and light. The Topo Mountain Briefcase. And by the way, on that one, I think in the link, there's a there's a, a, a coupon code for getting a discount. At least there is at the time of making this video. I'm gonna have a, a discount code that, that Topo's hooked me up with for anybody who listens here. I don't get an affiliate commission from there, but like you guys can get uh, some percentage off. So use that. Okay, let's go into another slim, sleek bag. This one from Question. I did a bag review at length on this guy, so I'll just mention it here. This is their simple pack. Now, it's very simple. They have other packs that are similar in, in aesthetic and, and have a little more bells and whistles. But I wanted to include this one because I've just, I'm just kind of smitten with it. Similar to the Topo, I mean, it doesn't have the perfect aesthetic for me. It's the way the designers thought about the bag. It's the pockets they they thought, no, these are the pockets that this bag needs to have. This is the functionality that this bag needs to have. It's that kind of stuff that makes me kind of fall in love with this bag. You have simple pocket on the outside that doesn't have a lining or anything. It's just a pocket. Um, the whole thing's made out of canvas. This is, this is their like black dry canvas. It's not waxed. On the back side here, you've got a little pouch that you can stow away your backpack straps on, just really thin backpack straps. Inside, you've got, by the way, the handles are just nice for when you're like toting it around, you're toting. I like to tote sometimes. Sometimes I do the tote. <laughs> I don't say nope, I, I tote. And then inside, check this out. Listen, bag manufacturers, listen to me on this. All right, laptop compartment, zippered sort of, flat thing for the stuff you you need but you don't want to see killer i wish that was a little bit bigger on this i could do with a little bit of a larger version of that and then two underwear pockets underwear pockets are what i mean when there's there's just a little bit of elastic at the top right like your underoos and they're perfect size both of them for a macbook charger with a little bit of space now i know some of you aren't like mac users and but we all have laptops if we're professionals working somewhere, likely. And well, some of us actually have our computers at our office and we don't have to bring that stuff. But for those of us who have laptops, we have to have a charger with us, right? Whether it's a Dell, HP, Gateway, Asus, or Apple. Is Microsoft make computers still? Oh yeah, they get that new Surface stuff, which is supposed to be sweet. You're gonna need a charger that goes in there. So I need something for that. And then I need something for like, I don't know, just some bulky stuff that, hey, look, I can put that away here. No water bottle holder on this bag, all right, on the outside, which is something I noticed, so that has to go in. That's what I end up using my other pouch inside of here for. So, just so you know, that's, and then similar to the Topo, we're looking at like two, maybe three, uh, but most likely two, um, two wool sweaters for our capacity. So that's the simple bag from Question, the simple pack. Uh, longer video review on that one if you wanna check out this one and the other bags from Kvashchen. <laughs> mm, drink a little apple cider vinegar, a little bit of that and some water. Mm, really clears you up. And I got my mushroom mix from Four Sigma. Mm. Balancing out my yin and my yang, this is terrific. Now, check this guy out. It's the Velo Pack from Rickshaw. Another one of these bags that I've had for a really long time and I love this bag. Why? It is utterly simple to carry anything you need. And the material on this one, the wax canvas, which I'm not sure they're still making 
you might have to like reach out to them for a custom on this, is killer. One thing about this bag is you can customize this bag on Rickshaw's website and have it in a bunch of different colors and materials and they have their like herringbone and tweed and sailcloth and stuff like that. Very cool stuff. Simple bag, simple, like like nice straps that, that, that are feel really comfortable. You can load this thing down. You can put a lot of stuff in it. I'll show you in a second. But the straps are nice and comfortable. On the front, water resistant zipper here for our pocket that gets us into a three dimensional, notice this bag manufacturer, three-dimensional, right? They're like, hey, you're gonna be putting stuff in here. Stuff has dimension. Why don't we give you a little pocket to include that dimension rather than cut into the rest of the bag? And they did it and it's kind of stylish. I think it looks it looks fine. Um, there's also a couple little little pouches in here, one for like a pen or and then another one for like, I don't know, business cards or something. Uh, but another waterproof zipper and you can just throw whatever you need. Charger, stuff like that glasses, quick access, headphones, etc. Top of the bag, also water resistant zipper. It's sealed YKK. Then inside, bada boom, tons of space here. Tons of space. I'm saying like, we're like at, at like seven, seven wool sweaters or something like that. Probably eight. Um, really lots of space. Have I told you how much I love this material? I just love the density of this waxed canvas. It feels like canvas that is like alive, that's nourished with the wax. I don't know how to explain that. Inside here, they have Velcro on the top, on the front and the back, which allows you to buy some accessories from them that Velcro right onto their pen cases, lots of pouches and stuff like that. I have a handful of them that I've used there over time. And the one I use down here is their simple uh, laptop. Uh, one of my favorite, one of my favorite laptop sleeves ever because it's just so simple. It's sturdy, stupid, simple. Pulled up off the bottom of the bag a little bit. It's just got a little bit of material, the same as the, the Cordura on the inside uh, and then padding all around it. Easy to get the laptop in and out of. I love that. So that is the Velo Pack from Rickshaw. Check these guys out, link below. American made, American design, very, very cool. Rickshaw. Now this one's kind of special. It doesn't necessarily fit as a wax canvas rugged, uh, like, like it's obviously not wax canvas. It's tarpaulin, it's completely water resistant, damn near waterproof. Uh, but it has enough of that, of that rustic vibe that I'm like, it belongs in this one, not the tech one, or at least it belongs in both. This is the Perverky pack from Wandered, Provoke without any vowels. I call it Perverky. It's so, functional as a bag. It's one of my favorite bags in terms of functionality. Like if you're like one bag, rest of your life, like for this size is the 21 liter, it comes in a 31 liter bigger bag. I'm like, it's almost impossible to beat this bag for functionality, okay? Obviously we've got the water resistant, really scratch resistant, uh, tough outer layer of the tarpaulin, tons of tech, organization stuff in the uh, the pocket here. Very robust straps, by the way. Love these handles. The handles feel, I did a huge review on this, so I'll, I'll point you to that for more information. But great bag, a great like slip for my laptop and my tablet. My iPad Pro fits in the tablet, my big one fits in there perfectly. I've got access to the main compartment from here. I've got a quick access pocket right here at the top. I'm going fast through these because I do have like every bell and whistle discussed at length in a longer video, which I'll give you a link to below. Um, you've got the roll top capacity, so that means this thing can expand to an ungodly capacity. Check this out, just brand new! Tons of space, I'm like 10, 12, 15, like, whatever the, the wool sweaters that I could fit in here because this can just clip onto wherever I want it to um, and make so much space. So, I mean, I could travel. You wanna talk about daily travel that you can use with day or, or like going longer term travel and using the bag that you can use as a daily carry bag. This is one of the better options I've ever seen for that. And as a daily carry bag, it's great. So, remember what I was saying about the Astray bag um, that it you have to kind of like get into you have to use the whole roll top to get into it. With this one, you don't. 
You don't have to. You have access to it from the side here. You have access to all your tech stuff on the back. So whenever I get to the cafe with this, I open this up and all I need is this back one just to there. And I'm I, that's everything I need. I keep my charger somewhere in here. I do everything I can right there because it's so much more useful. Also, that quick access, can't explain how important that is. Place for glasses and headphones, that's it, killer. Then this is your front of the bag document, business papers, your papers, your business papers, man. They can go in here. I would oftentimes put my charger right in there because it's on the outside of the bag. I don't have to get into it. There's also a secret compartment back here for storing your passport, like perfect size for passport or, or anything else you wanted to, to make secret. And then your water bottle pack, which expands. It's got a zipper and expands over here on the side. This thing is just so well thought through. It has all these compression straps on the sides. It also has these loops for accessories that you can strap things and lash things down on the bag. Perverky from Wander. Check out the bag uh, video that I've done on them if you're interested in this bag because this thing is killer in the description below, and I'll also put a link to purchase down below to check it out on their website. But watch my bag review if you're really interested in this one and you're just hearing about it now because we get into detail on this sucker. <laughs> All right, now finally, finally, baby, probably the piece de resistance. The very best of all the things that Hemingway has ever owned. I remember when I was with him in a manufacturing supply in Paris, when he saw this bag on the floor, forgotten, dusty, and dirty. He picked it up and, well, as they say, the rest is history. This is the 24 hour tin cloth brief briefcase from uh, Filson. Now, I'm normally a backpack guy for sure, uh, but as I said with the simple, sometimes I tote. Sometimes I tote, and when I do, there's no better toady briefcasey type of vibe than this one from Filson. I think it was New York Times did this article like the ubiquitous Filson briefcase, their tan one that is just everywhere. But this one did not get super popular. It feels a little bulkier and a little bit bigger, but I feel like the look of it is so much nicer as well as the functionality of it. It's, uh, it's, leather, it's leather bits, the handles, the leather strap that I had to buy as an accessory is these handles, the way they've broken in. I didn't, I mean, I knew they'd break in, but I didn't know it would be like this. They're just gorgeous. They're really soft and supple. Um, they feel really good, like they're gonna be here for a long time and like they're kind of just getting to know me. Then with these pockets, you've got two pockets with no nothing on the top and then two zippered pockets with these big brass teeth. Inside the zippered pockets, there's a few little organizing kind of things that I rarely use. Inside of here, there's some pens. Can you see that? So some pens and like a place for glasses. Inside of here, there's like a zippered one. That's not important. I do want to show you, this is my little, uh, from Tom Bin, one of their little organizers that has two places. I keep all those, what I call is my like, I need to have you, but I never want to see you. Chapstick, headphone splitter, little dongles, some tooth, uh, some, some uh, you know, dental floss, maybe some melatonin in case I'm on the road, stuff like that. I just always have to have a pocket for that in my bags. I never want to see it. It's the kind of thing where it's like 1 a.m. in a hotel room, you're like, why can't I sleep? Like, where's the melatonin? It's the kind of thing where you're like out and you're like, gosh, dang, I got a, something stuck in my tooth and it's starting to kill me. And you're like, oh, I have that dental floss in my bag. Really great to have, never want to see it. So when I'm using this bag, I only ever get into this and then the two right behind it, because one of them is just my laptop charger. Bam, right in there, love that. Now inside the bag, I've got, uh, I do on this one I have to do a bit of a pinch and roll as well because these zipper teeth are so brassy and gnarly. When I'm pulling my laptop in and out, it can you can kinda, you can kinda like get the feeling like it's scratching it. So I gotten used to do the pinch and roll, again, doesn't take much, just do the pinch and roll. Some bags require it and some bags are worth it. And then inside, I've got my iPad Pro just thrown in there and then uh, there's two more pouches connected to the top of the bag there, uh, the front of the bag that are just useful for, you know, being pouchy. This flap comes over the top, making it sort of water resistant, um, not, not by any means like worthy of, of the deluge, 
Uh, you can't, it won't, <laughs> you'll, it will let you down. Your computer will get wet. There's also a little bit of a papers, business papers, man, in the back here, as well as a strap you can use to put it on your luggage. It's not a very good one. I mean, it can kind of come off easily. But when you're carrying this bag around and you're doing the like, it just looks right and it behaves excellent. Like use on this thing is killer. If you need to, if you're running in a bazaar market in Morocco from some, you know, uh, rare goods dealer you've stolen a glowing skull from or something like that, you, you can maybe do this and sort of run with it if you needed to. That's the bummer obviously about a briefcase is you're running from those rare goods dealers. You gotta hold it by hand or it's just not very easy to do. But hey man, if Indy can do it, maybe you can too. So this is the 24 hour tin cloth briefcase from Filson. Mm, real, real nice, real nice bag. That one is all daddy's money as like, a, I paid for that as a gift to myself when I, I don't know, I don't even think I did anything. I was just like, I'm finally ready for something like this and I'm glad I did. Okay, there's my Rustic, there's my Daily Carry, there's my Indiana Jones. What do you guys think about it? What other bags do you think fit in this look and feel? Let us know in the comments. This can be like sort of a page a lot of us who are looking for bags like this can come to and get some inspiration on some bags out there that are pretty dope. These are, the, these are the, some of the ones that I've collected over the years and had sent to me and I wanted to show them to you because I'm, I like the look of a lot of them. It can be hard to find a daily carry bag that has the right look and features for you, so I know that plight. Hopefully you find something here that you really like. But remember, none of these bags are gonna make you a whole person. <laughs> Only you can do that. I find that a bag is very important because it enables your life in a special way. I mean, underwear matters too, but bags can enable your life to carry what you need. And it's very closely identified to me with my like identity, with who I think I am, with what I'm signaling to the world. So I don't mind spending a little money on a bag if I know I'm doing it for the right reasons. And hopefully today, I've in entertained you and educated you on a handful of bags maybe you didn't know about, as well as maybe helping you understand like that bag you do have, we can just like pull everything out of it, reorganize it, put it to back together and be happy using that for another year. I have been Chase Warman Reeves. I really appreciate you for coming by. I do these sorts of videos here on uh, this and other topics. Uh, you can uh, leave a comment below. You can subscribe, say what's up. You can follow me on my Facebook uh, profile. Why did I say that? I meant to say my Fizzle Show. I also have a Facebook profile, but I have a podcast called The Fizzle Show. If you are an independent entrepreneur, if you'd like to be, Fizzle exists to help indie entrepreneurs earn a living doing something they care about. Why work some shitty job when you're just as insecure there as you are working for yourself? As Jim Carrey said, you can fail doing something you don't like, so why not at least try doing something you do like, even though of course it's a chance you're gonna fail. So at Fizzle we talk about, hey, how can we make this thing less likely to fail? How do we do the entrepreneurial journey thing? You could check us out at fizzleshow.co or fizzle.co. I'm on there talking all the time, so anyways, thank you for listening and paying attention and watching and liking and all the things. Big love, talk to you guys later. Make good choices.